Hello YouTubers, Joanna Delilah and back with part two of my weight loss journey. I have oh, just a minute. I have um, just drawn the blinds and changed my top while well, taking my little jacket off just to make it look a little bit different from the last video. So maybe next one I'll put a little hat on or something because I'm filming all of these. Oh sorry, filming all of these in the same day and telling my little story. Um and I've got a cup of coffee. Also, I might have to get up to let the dog in as well. Um, I'm not editing any, any videos. Can't be bothered with that. So it's just gonna run on of me chatting about how I lost six stone. So I hope you watched the first video in this little series because that I think, if I hadn't have grasped step one, which in a nutshell, it's body positivity accepting who you are and being happy with how you are at present. If I hadn't have got there, I don't think I'd have got through any of the other steps. Um, and there were kind of three things that I think um, made me lose weight. And one of them is a positive mindset about myself as I was. So here I was stuck due to the medication and what have you, unable, so I thought, to lose weight, having tried lots and lots of different diets. Um, I had tried gym memberships and things like that in and out. Um, I even tried like jogging around the block. Um, but as I was um, almost 18 stone, I'm five foot three. So my BMI was, I, can't, I think it was like 45 or something, dangerously overweight. Um, everything was effort. I was tired all the time. I couldn't be bothered to do anything. Whenever I sat down on the sofa, I was like fully flopped down. I couldn't even, I didn't even have the effort to like get up and take a plate out to the kitchen. Um, everything was heavy and everything was hard work. So I tried doing gyms, found it so difficult, didn't enjoy it and gave up. So I started, um, what I started to do was walking and being absolutely allergic to exercise, I didn't do this from a fitness point of view. Um, that's my coffee <laughs> um, steam going through. What happened was it was just by a chance of of what happened was my work um moved premises to a city center location which meant that there was no free parking and i looked into all different methods i looked at parking and it was just too expensive i couldn't really afford to pay like 30 odd pound a week on parking or whatever it was i looked at buses and um wasn't hugely keen because obviously they're a bit unpredictable. My job is I'm a teacher, so you can't have the teacher late for class, can you? I work in a college teaching makeup to students. So it's important that I was able to, you know, be on a reliable form of transport. So yeah, buses also, where the bus stops were, it would take me 15 minutes to get to the bus stop from home and then get off the bus and then work was another 15 minutes away from that so I'm like paying for the bus having to wait for the bus and all of everything the inconvenience that goes along with that and I was still having to walk 30 minutes a day which to me as someone who once and very proudly told the story of being in a supermarket and I I didn't really need the loo but I thought I could do with a wee at some point. I'm going to go to the, this was before Corona and everything, and you could go to public toilets. But I actually went to the toilet in the supermarket toilets because I knew then that would saved me a trip going upstairs when I got home. That is how lazy I was. So walking, I was like, can I even do this? I don't want to walk half an hour to the bus stop. But I worked out that the walk to work if i walk the whole way would take me just under an hour so about 50 minutes it should take and i thought it's like 20 minutes extra walking and it's free and it's reliable because i'll know what time i'll start and finish 
So for practical reasons, sorry, this is so long. I told you it was a long story. I hope you're all still with me. <laughs> um, for practical reasons, I decided I'm just going to walk to work. I worked um, at that time. I was on three days a week. So I had to do this walk. It's two and a half miles, three days a week there and back. So I started to do that. Didn't even occur to me about weight loss because as I said in my previous video, I couldn't, or so I thought, lose weight. It, weight wouldn't shift off me. Um, in all the time that I'd stopped dieting, by the way, which was quite a few years um, and being really happy, I was eating whatever I wanted and I found that naturally I wasn't eating as much. But if I wanted a cake, I'd have a cake. If I wanted a fruit salad over a fruit salad and I never gained or lost weight I stayed the same but I was at a heavy weight um so I started walking three times a week twice a day two and a half miles did that for quite a few months and it was hard from someone being so unfit many days I would hobble home and although it should take me 50 minutes it was taking me probably yeah an hour and some days on the way home especially an hour and 15 minutes and I was slow and I was hobbling and sometimes I'd have to stop halfway and change my blister plasters so it wasn't easy but it's you know it was it was transport it was A to B that was I had to do it what was I think helped me was it wasn't like I was deciding to go for a walk around the block where I could be like oh I'm a bit tired I'll turn back now like I had this distance to go and if I didn't I wouldn't get to work or I wouldn't get home. So it pushed me on. Um, but I wasn't in any rush. I left in plenty of time. Wasn't trying to improve my fitness or anything. I just, as I say, it was transport. After a couple of months, I did find I'm feeling better. I'm having more energy and I'm actually quite starting to enjoy this walk in. So I started going for a walk on my day off, like a little walk around a country road, um, walk around the park. Um, and it was then, I by accident, I realized, I didn't even know this was the thing, that my phone has been tracking my steps forever. I didn't even know, so I could scroll back through and see how many steps I got the year before and the year before, which was really interesting. And that I think was kind of the light bulb moment actually was tracking my steps. So some days, going right back to before I was uh, walking to work, my my average step count would be like under 1,000. And now it was up, um, because of obviously some days I wasn't walking and some I was, it was around about 5,000 a day average. I started feeling a lot better, started having a lot more energy. Um, and I weighed myself and realised that I had lost some pounds. My kind of starting weight was a little bit vague because I wasn't, oh, there's Mr. Peters in the background doing the gardening. Um, I wasn't, as I say, I wasn't like weighing myself at the start. So I, I had a rough idea that I was around 18 stone. He's also lost about um, five stone as well there. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he knows I'm filming. He won't mind. He's also lost, yeah, he's lost about five stone. I'm just doing a video about my weight loss. Okay, <laughs> carry on. Yeah. Um, so where was I? I've lost my train of thought again now. So I was talking about, okay. <laughs> I was talking, that's my nail file I'm flipping about with. I was talking about walking, get my steps, the step count. Then I got interrupted by Mr. Peters. Then I realised my phone was tracking my steps and I bought a Fitbit. Yeah, I weighed myself, that's where I was. Um, and I'd realised, I reckon I'd lost about £10 without even trying, without even doing anything at that point. So I got a Fitbit. Um, still got the same one that I've had today. By the way, the whole start to finish of this story, and I'm not finished yet, I've got about two stone left to go. Um, but the whole scale of how I lost six stone, it took about 18 months. So I was chipping away, tiny little bit at a time. And I think also that that is key as well. Um, because hopefully, I mean, proof is in the pudding or in the lack of pudding in this case. 
as to whether I keep it off, but I really feel like I will this time um, because I've done it so gradually and I don't, I haven't cut anything out or done anything drastic. So since getting the Fitbit, um, I now have got a bit addicted to walking, to tracking my steps. I always make time every single day, rain, shine, hurricane, snow, boiling hot heat wave, I will always get 10,000 steps a day. Unless like, if I was taken ill, obviously. I don't push myself around, but every day I want to. I've never had a day where it's been, oh, I didn't really want to go. I've always, since I started doing it, wanted to go for a walk. And I think another good point is don't push yourself, especially if you are really heavy. You don't have to speed walk. I pottered along and I plodded along and I plodded off my weight. It's, it's just about constantly moving and getting those steps. Um, and I get, as I say, always get at least 10,000 steps a day. Quite often on a day I'll get 15, 18 to 20,000 sometimes because I have really got the bug for it now, so I love it. Um, but also I find generally, my general well-being is so much better and I've just got so much more energy that I'm popping about the house and I didn't sit down for long because I don't want to. It's, it's such a transformation. I'm such a different person than I was, um, you know, a few years ago. And the first thing I did was the walking. So we've got step one, acceptance, body positivity, deciding to be fabulous and not weighing myself and not worrying about weight, which I would still stay at step one. If that's, if that's you, that's great. But if you want to lose weight the way I did it, um, then get walking. Um, nice comfy boots, comfy trainers are key, really important. I love um, Fit Flop. I don't know if they're just UK brand, I'm not sure. FIT Flop. They do lovely boots and trainers, really comfy, and I've walked miles and miles and miles in them. Um, so yeah, the Fitbit, tracking your steps and just getting out there and don't push yourself to do anything. If you're very heavy, if you were, you know, just to very slowly walk around the block, you're doing two, three, four times the amount of work as a thin person doing that walk is because you are carrying the weight of your, well, your fat on your body. It, it weighs heavy, doesn't it? You know, you're carrying an extra few stone everywhere you go. So you've already got that resistance in you anyway. You don't need to go to a gym and climb up a stair thing. Just walk every day. Aim for if you're really really big like I was, I would say aim for five thousand a day for like a month. Um, have a you know make a start, then up it to seven and a half, and then aim to get to ten. Um, you could do it in two or three little walks because doing ten thousand steps in one long walk is quite long. Um, but that is the first thing you need to do. Forget about weight loss. Forget about how long it takes you. Imagine you've got to climb a really tall ladder, right? You're at the bottom or the top of a hill. You're at the bottom of the hill, wherever you are, wherever you are. I'm at the top looking down, hello. I'm nearly at the top. I'm like three quarters of the way up. Um, you can't just jump right the way up to the top, can you? You're never gonna get to the top and lose all your weight. If, even if you've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 stone to lose, you've got to lose that first one or two. So you've got to start it but it's a, you're in it for a long haul. It's not, you know, it's not about overnight. It's not something you can fix overnight. So be glamorous, enjoy yourself as you are, be happy in yourself as you are, and just think where you would be this time next year. You might be holding my hands three quarters of the way up that hill. Um, in the next video, I'll talk to you about how I adjusted my diet. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want. I'm thinking I might do like a little Facebook group or something for weight loss. Um, what's it? I don't know. Just mulling it over. But follow me on Instagram. I've got a little um, Instagram called Pete's underscore blogs. And just it's like outfits and talk about weight loss. And there's lots of my before and after photos as well on there. And there is a before swimsuit photo. 
that reminds me swimming do you know what when my oh my god i'm going on i am nearly finished like bear with me like 30 more seconds i just want to tell you about swimming um when my children were very small and i was very big i used to hate having to take them swimming and feel so self-conscious until the whole body positive thing came in tess holiday and all of her wonderful self and i just thought why should i not go swimming am i not allowed to go swimming just because of my I've got a bigger body if you don't like it don't look I'm gonna go swimming I've got as much right as everyone else to take my kids swimming and I'm not gonna put one of them stupid swimming dresses on so you're like it's covered in wet fabric no thank you I'm gonna go swimming in my swimsuit and so there is a photo of me in on my Instagram in my swimsuit in a kiddie pool loving life with a big smile on my face and that's what you've got to do just chuck it in the bin what everyone else thinks bobbins to it you do you right so first step body positive second step walking third step will come in my next video